Hey guys, it's Frank Maloney from Athlon Outdoors, and I'm here with something brand new from Rise Armament, brand new to the firearms industry. Meet the world's first independent two-stage trigger, known as the Rise Iconic. Why don't we go ahead and get this thing on the bench, get it into a gun, see what makes it kick, get it on the range for some action. All right, so let's begin with the obvious. We see that we have two separate triggers here nested together and the idea is that once you press the first stage it'll activate the second stage and then press through just like any other trigger so this is not a safety in blade system that you might be familiar with but if you are familiar with systems like that this is going to be very natural it's going to be a very easy crossover the reason that this is built this way is because it is exactly as we're describing it it is two triggers inside of one self-contained unit so what that gives us is it takes away the compromise between a crisp break and a light pull weight that all other two-stage triggers had up to this day. So in essence, this is today's two-stage trigger. You're going to have that defined wall, you're going to have a crisp snap, and you're going to have a really quick reset. So it's just a better mousetrap. Rise is really good at putting all this technology into a self-contained unit. So we're going to go ahead and just drop this right into a gun. We can see our two stages working together here. One and two. Oh gosh, that is light. Very clean too. First stage, second stage. All right. Well, I say we throw an upper on this thing, get it to the range. Okay, so since two stage triggers are typically attractive for precision and long range shooters, I decided to make the first test a 500 yard target. We got an IP6 silhouette out there and I've loaded my magazine up with some of the Sierra's Match King 69 grain load that this rifle just seems to love. Let's go ahead and get some lead on steel at distance, see how it feels. Okay, we got a hit. All right, very neat system, I like it a lot. So that first stage is about a pound, but it's more or less like a trigger in a trigger is really the best way to describe it. It's a wide, flat piece of metal that you bring in and then both pieces come back together. This flat, wide area really ensures a straight back press. That initial stage is right around one pound. You know, I've been pressing enough triggers to, to know that. Yeah, for sure, I definitely could validate that claim. The second part is about two pounds, give or take, right? So altogether, it's about like a three pound trigger. And that might even wear in a little bit. It all depends on your gun and, and what you're doing with it. Um, let's send some more down there. Okay. So that time I really concentrated on follow through and reset. I mean, I do it every shot, but I kind of exaggerated it for this one. So I pressed, we waited until we heard the impact, and then I came all the way off to hear that distinct click. What I was feeling for to see if this, like all the other rise triggers, drove my finger forward. And it did a pretty good job of that, you know. Um, it's a little lighter, I mean, as intended. It's not as snappy as, say, the 535, but it certainly has that positive reset that you're looking for. Let's go ahead and get two rounds downrange in rapid succession. That could be if you need to engage a target twice for hunting, or let's say you missed your first time and then you have to correct and send another. So even though we don't think about that in, realm, in the realm of long range shooting, it's certainly a big part of it. Okay. 
So they stacked up on top of each other pretty fast, but those were two hits. Bang, snap, bang, snap. We have a great day on the range today. There's next to no wind. I mean, this is one terrific two-stage trigger. But, like all Rise triggers, I want to see if it can perform in a up-close-and-personal, really fast-shooting kind of setup. You know, maybe, maybe this is a rifle that I want to do a bunch of different things with. Maybe it's a three-gun rifle to where I might be shooting 300 yards and then immediately 15 yards right after it. So why don't we get this over to the short range, see how it does. All right, so the Iconic is definitely one sweet two-stage trigger. But let's see if it still retains some of those elements that we know Rise for. Namely, that snappy reset to where you can rip two rounds downrange really quick. So we went ahead and loaded this up with some polyfrange, frangible ammunition. Be crazy to engage steel this close. Otherwise, let's see what we got. Okay, so I can barely feel this trigger come forward. It just snaps right forward. The reset spring is perfect. My finger landed right where it needed to be. Let's go ahead and dump some more. That's what I'm talking about. The Rise Iconic is one awesome trigger. It is responsive enough for precision work, snappy enough for up close and personal work, and it's just a hell of a lot of fun to run. For more information and to get yours, check out risearmament.com. I'm Frank Maloney. We'll see you on the range.